This is the Heidelberger pregame show, and I'm standing here in Ray Skillman Stadium with Coach Eric Moore. Actually, a little bit early this year, day before the state game, Coach, we're going to do this interview. And first of all, I want to congratulations, give a correct congratulations to your program for doing five of the last seven years in the state championship game, the big game. Such an incredible accomplishment. Three years straight, your thoughts on just that. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, from the bottom of our heart, our whole program thanks you and everybody else that supported us. What sometimes doesn't get advertised is that means you win the semi-state five times. And the semi-state, it's like in NASCAR when you win the last race of the season, but you also win the championship. No one cares about that race. They all care about the championship. In football terms, you win the semi-state, and everybody's, everybody's focus goes right to the state, and you forget you won a great football game against Ben Davis High School, which is a great, which had an unbelievable football team with great athletes that we totally dominated the second half. I'm just so proud of my, my uh, football team and my coaches for preparing ourselves for such a great game against Ben Davis. And then now comes the state week, which is totally hectic, but it's fun to be there representing this community five times in seven years is almost unheard of. And we're, we're happy and, and congratulations to the whole community. 23 years ago, you came here with a vision and you know, this is actually your seventh game. We have an opportunity to get above 500 in the state championship game, which has got to bring you a lot of pride. Uh, yesterday we had Thanksgiving. Uh, what an unbelievable time to give thanks. And we had our alumni breakfast. Roughly 200 former players going back to 1960 came and were able to introduce themselves and communicate with our players. And we had the Thanksgiving prayer. And your thoughts on just that has to just make you feel incredibly proud to have all those people come back on a holiday and, and spend their morning with you. Yeah, it's 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 the funnest day of the year for me, and I know the state championship is awesome, but that game really unites the program and the community. I know those guys from 1960, but I did not coach them. Uh, and I always tease them. I say that every time we've done this now, we've done it three years in a row, I hear statistics are getting better, and you guys haven't played in 10 years, but yet each year you score a few more touchdowns and you get a few more interceptions, you know, but that's what it's all about. It's getting away from on th early Thanksgiving morning, coming out here and being part of football, Trojan football, with the guys that you teamed with and you sweat and bled with. And uh, I'm just so proud of what we've built. And that, that day, a lot of goes to you. You did a great job of organizing that, uh, like you do a great job of organizing everything we do. We call him the CEO of Trojan football. But uh, that was a great organized uh, a party that yesterday morning, and we're just so happy to be a part of that. And uh, it, it just kicks off the whole rest of the weekend. We haven't talked specifically about players a lot this year, but I do want to mention a few. Uh, you got Taven Jackson coming in, and is at least what we can find in the big school, there's never been a quarterback to lead their team three straight years being the same quarterback in the state game. Your thoughts on Taven and how he's grown over the years? Well, it's been an incredible ride for Taven, especially as if you think about it as a sophomore. You're not even driving a car yet, and you're leading a team – and the pressure that must have been on him because you know you love the seniors that you're playing with and you don't want to you know you don't want to mess it up for them and he had the best second half in that first state championship game ever of anybody so uh sort of took off from there and you know it, you know it's it's about team now and I, and I know he he wants to be have statistics like everybody else does but right now the only statistic we're looking for is one W and that's winning against a a great uh, Westfield team Speaking of statistics, Caden uh, Curry is another one that comes to mind. As a freshman, you started calling him Everybody's All-American, which is a, is a big accomplishment and, and, and something that you don't normally say as a freshman. And his statistics have dwindled a little bit because for the last two years, he's only played half the game, half the year. But the guy's being recruited by everybody. He's been very humble about it. Your thoughts on Caden? Well, he is everybody's All-American, and I knew from the beginning. I've had kids like that in Florida. I knew what he what the, he possesses that trait of when he's on the field, it's 100% football, and he 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 never lets up. Uh, and you know, he didn't practice real hard because that's that's part of being great. Usually, that you, you know, you have to have that switch, and practice sometimes doesn't doesn't have to dedicate that switch. But he plays hard, and uh, he's been a fine young man for our program and quite a great role model for the students here at Center Grove and for any other sport. And he's been involved in three sports as a high school student. But he's a great high school football player, and if there's a better football player in Indiana, I'd like to see it. You think about last year's team, you had Mr. Football, you had the Delps, the Vice, a lot of guys that, that graduated, and it was an incredible year, 14-0. and We're now on a 27-game win streak. And three other guys I'd just like you to briefly mention uh, that have played – as starters since their sophomore year are Mitchell Evans, Daniel Weems, and, of course, James Schott, who just committed to Michigan State. 
Yeah, those three guys have been the three horsemen that you really didn't notice until this year. Uh, Mitchell Evans he possesses great athletic skill position on defense. He could have played offense. The great thing about our guys, they could play anywhere you want on the football field. That's why they're going to be so good in college. But uh, Mitch is just a tough kid, and I know he's an all-state baseball caliber baseball kid, but you know he's one of those kids that could probably be all-state in any sport. So he, he's going to be deeply missed, but I just hope we get one more great game out of him. And I love to watch him because he has fun. Mr. Automatic is uh, is James Shaw. I don't think I've ever had a kid in 40 years of coaching and being around football that practices every rep like it might be the last time he, he, he gets to play a, a down of football. And that's all you have to sell the colleges on. And they see how hard he plays. And, and the time you, you see him in the paper and he's four foot off the ground, uh, he does that in practice as well. He's another super athlete. He's got a super great attitude. And uh, we're just, you know, I wish him the best. And he's, he's, he's made our program what it is. And it's not been easy for him. And I've been tough on James. You know, it, you can ask him. It's not, it's not easy to play for me sometimes. And uh, he took it all in stride and, and just to become a better man because of it. And Dan Weems is like that silent assassin. You know, this cool is the other, the other side of the pillow, man. Maybe one of the coolest kids I've had play just doesn't get, doesn't get excited, doesn't get, doesn't get upset, just continues to run the football. His biggest, you know, his biggest uh, input to the program is as a sophomore when Carson's done, he takes over and rushes for a thousand yards, and then <clears throat> the next year he has to pretty much do the same thing. Uh, this year he he ended up getting a, a little bit of an injury, and he's fought back from that. But he's been Mr. Solid, a great football player. Uh, again, he's one of those kids that can play three or four different positions. But uh, just really proud of those guys for doing what they do in the classroom and in our community, as well as on a gridiron for the Trojans. This entire senior class, most of them, a lot of them, I should say, played as a sophomore in the state game three years straight. Their entire record, if you start at their sophomore season, is 35-8, and eight, which has got to be one of the better ones we've had here at Center Grove. Coach, just spend a little bit of time on Westfield. Westfield comes in. We're playing them again. It's a rematch. Uh, their coach has done an incredible job building a program. He used to come down here and, 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 and watch our power clubs, or your power clubs, I should say. Uh, they're a great football team. They have a lot of people from that team last year coming in. Your thoughts on Westfield? Well, they're a great football team that's, it, that is not going to beat themselves. You know, They're not going to make mistakes and turnovers. They're going to play a solid game, and we're going to have to physically beat them to, to win the game. And they're a better team than they were last year. And Hauser 22 is back. He's playing both ways. He's much more healthy this year. Uh, and they think he's the best football player in the state of Indiana. So it's going to be a, you know, something push comes to shove tomorrow. Someone's going to see what they can do. They have a huge quarterback, six foot five, 230 pounds, throws the heck out of the ball, runs the ball very hard. So they're, they're a lot like we are. Uh, you know, so it, we, we mirror each other on, on the way we run our program. We have to be good on special teams. We have to be sound. You just can't get beat on special teams because they're really good on special teams, and they've got a great defense that tackles. we got a great defense that tackles. So the big thing is yards after t contact and who can make the big play on who and just stay in there and who wants it most. You know, this has been a great run, and it's, it's if you can get that 28, it's great. Great is 28, and that's going to be our slogan. Hey, here's what we know. Saturday. Starting at 3 o'clock at gate 10, right across from Lucas Oil, we're going to have the biggest tailgate you've ever seen. It's been that way five of the last seven years. We had an incredible excitement celebration last year during COVID. Let's make it bigger and better this year. Get there if you can. Buses will leave somewhere between 4 and 4.30 tomorrow. Heading down there, we're going to be lined up on the sides of each side of the road to celebrate these guys coming through and getting them into Lucas Oil and then get inside there and let's root them on. If you can't make it, make sure you watch it on IHSATV.org. Coach, it's been an unbelievable two-year run. Let's get 28. We wish you all the luck. We're proud of you. Hey, we thank, thank you so much. Hey, we appreciate your support. Let me give you a little tip on the – as we're coming down the main stretch there by Lucas Oil, stay on the sidewalk. I get so nervous because people get crossing out and – uh, I'm afraid we're going to run over somebody. Stay back and cheer. Our kids need this. They want you there. They see you. They notice everybody that's there. We slow down. It's the biggest thing we talk about all year is that bus ride into the to Lucas Oil. Everybody thinks it's the, the going under the into the domes fun. No, it's coming there by gate. What is it? Gate 11. Gate 10. Gate 10, where everybody is. All that red. The sea of red and the cheers. We hear it. We open the windows up. Don't think we don't think that's the greatest thing on earth. It's the funnest thing about playing football at Center Grove is that right into the state champion, uh, the state championship game. Hey, Center Grove number one versus Westfield number two rematch from last year. Go Trojans!